Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, I'm audible and my uh, is my screen visible? Yes, yes, we can hear yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, so welcome everyone. Uh, I hope you're all having a great day at our conference. So uh, I'm Mohammad Hussain Nagaria. Uh, I'm an engineer in the Frappe Cloud team. Uh, I love solving problems, but I also end up creating a few sometimes. And I also have a passion for teaching. So, uh, a few of my open projects uh, are like Rupio, a CLI for creating uh, single page applications and the Digispro, which is a very recent uh, project that I built. Uh, so that's enough about me, uh, let's begin. So we all can agree that uh, Frappe framework helps us create uh, amazing web applications in record time and with minimal effort. Uh, that is evident from all the talks uh, that preceded mine. And uh, over the years, uh, the community has created many such awesome apps. Uh, and uh, from small customizations all the way up to complete integrations. So what does a developer want, developer of the app? So you want, you would want to reach as many users as possible. Uh, and uh, you would want to get the users up and running as quickly as possible to try out your app. You would also want to provide related services like support, et cetera. And maybe you also want to make some money. Uh, so as Aditya discussed, uh, our hosting platform, Prepic Cloud, uh, it has, thousands of sites and we have hundreds of new signups every single day. So you might be asking where I am going with all this. So what if I told you your custom Frappe app could reach those Frappe cloud users in just a few clicks. Now you can. So introducing Frappe cloud marketplace. So Frappe cloud marketplace uh, is a hub for awesome Frappe apps. So it's a listing, uh, a platform that will help developers distribute their apps and users easily find and install Frappe apps on their uh, Frappe Cloud sites. Yeah. So this is, for instance, a page for Frappe School app on Marketplace. So Every single app on the marketplace gets its own page, just like you would expect from any other app store. Uh, so in this page, you can easily read the short description. Uh, you can browse through the sc uh, screenshots. You can also read the long elaborate description that the developer has written. You can easily glance at supported versions and uh, you can also have uh, visit the links like uh, important links like support uh, website and documentations. So either you can install, you can click on the install now button and it, this will take you to the Frappe Cloud dashboard on the site creation. Uh, you can also install a marketplace app. The users can also install the marketplace app while creating a site. So uh, in the site creation wizard, we have this uh, multi-select. So you can select as many as apps you want uh, to install on your site from the marketplace. Uh, if you already, went through the Frappe Cloud and have created an existing site, existing site or bench, uh, you can go to your site dashboard, click on add app, and this will show you a dialogue with a list of apps that are on marketplace and are, or your bench, if you are on private bench. And the user can easily click on the install and it will be installed just like that. Uh, so now coming to the developer side, suppose uh, you want to publish your app, you have an awesome app sitting around and you want to publish it to a Frappe Cloud Marketplace. So what is required? So basically you just need two things. The first is you need a Frappe Cloud account. It's free, obviously. And uh, you need a Frappe app hosted on GitHub. So your app should be hosted on GitHub. It can either be public or private, it doesn't matter. Uh, what are the next steps? Suppose you have those two and you have an app uh, and you also signed up for Frappe Cloud. You just need to do a few things. So just go uh, to the uh, settings page on your Frappe Cloud dashboard and click on become a publisher button. Once you click that, uh, your developer account will be activated and you will be able to see a new page on your dashboard that is my apps. This app, uh, this page shows you a list of all the apps 
you, that you have listed for, for the market list, uh, as well as the status of it. Currently, the Darkify app, as you can see on the slide, is in draft mode. So it is not yet published on the market list, but it's ready for publishing. And then you have this add a button on the top right corner. So once you click that, uh, you get this uh, dialog open. So this shows you a list of all the apps that you might have added on a private bench before. Uh, if that is the case, uh, you can select the app and directly select the branch you want to publish to marketplace and click on add healthcare. Basically, uh, here the app is healthcare. But if, dot, uh, if that's not the case, uh, you can click the add from GitHub button. Uh, and this will take you to this page. Uh, where if you are not yet authenticated, uh, authenticated Prepic Cloud to GitHub, you can just click on this button. And once authenticated, uh, you will be shown a list of all your repositories from GitHub, uh, whether public or private. Uh, just browse through uh, the list and find the app that you want to publish. Uh, you will also be uh, showed an option to select a particular branch for that app. Once you have found the app, uh, scroll down and you will find this validate app button. Now what this validate app button will do, it will make sure that the repo you have selected contains a valid FRAP app. And upon validation, uh, you will be prompted to choose a FRAP app version that your app is compatible with. Uh, just choose that version and click on add to marketplace. And that's it. So now that you will be routed to the app dashboard. The app dashboard, uh, is your way to manage your marketplace app. So in the first tab, this overview tab, you can manage your links. Uh, you can see the published version. So you have, can have multiple versions of the same app published. And you can also add a cool logo here. You can edit details like app title and category. Coming to metrics. So any app developer would want to know that how many uh, installs of are there for my app, etc. So we have this analytics tab. In this analytics, you can see the total installs for app uh, and the number of active sites and benches that have this app installed. Uh, now coming to managing releases. So once you have published an app or be even before publication, uh, in the releases tab, you can see all the commits from GitHub. So as you can see uh, in this list, uh, each release has this publish button uh, if it's not yet published. Once you click on that publish button, uh, you are basically asking to publish this particular release to the marketplace. Uh, you will be prompted uh, that upon confirmation, uh, the release will be sent for approval and one of our team members will review and publish it to the marketplace. Uh, so, the release is in now in awaiting approval state. And once approved, it will go to the approved state. So our app is ready for review. Uh, with the details filled and the release decided, uh, that's it on your part. Now we will review that and get it on marketplace. So why do we have a release process for each release, uh, review process for each release? So basically, we want to make sure that the users are safe from any malicious code and the quality standards are maintained. Uh, yeah, so there's much more coming uh, and it's coming soon. So paid apps. Currently, at present, we have all, uh, all the apps that are on marketplace are free, but soon developers will be able to have different plans and tiers for their apps uh, so they can earn from it. App support, uh, the developers can provide uh, support uh, that can also be paid. Uh, ratings and reviews, so it will make easier for the users to review an app and the developers to get feedback on their app and much more. So you have to stay tuned. So what if I need help? So what if you need help? Uh, feel free to raise a support ticket at trafficloud.com slash support, or you can also visit trafficloud.com slash docs slash marketplace to read about uh, more about what I presented today. You can also drop, uh, drop me an email at any time at hosannatfabi.io. So at the end, we can't wait to see the amazing apps you bring to the Frappe Cloud Marketplace. Yeah. Uh, thank you. That's it for uh, me today. Uh, I am open to any questions that you might have. Thank you. Thank you.
yeah. so there are a couple of questions in the chat box yeah yeah uh, let me just stop sharing yeah just a second what happens while skipping pages uh, moving from version 13 to 12 is it going to create issues uh so this uh, is kind of a question for the uh, panel that is coming up so it's more core practical cloud than marketplace uh yeah you may have to uh, if you want to do so like migrating from version 13 to 12 you may want to create a support ticket uh and adam asks what's the timeline like on the paid apps so hopefully uh, they will be live by next month uh if uh, i say it because we are very bad engineers are very bad at estimating so you if you want to trust me uh, that's what i can say uh, yeah so if you have any more questions uh, so there is a question uh, how do you ensure that there are no conflicts between apps is this the responsibility of the user so i assume you are telling uh, conflicts in terms of uh, the doc types so currently we cannot have like uh, an analysis that this app uh, has these doc types and this does this customization so basically it's the responsibility of the user to make sure that the apps they are installing doesn't have any conflicting logic Yeah, it looks like there are uh, no more questions. Yeah, uh, so we can proceed. There aren't any more questions. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hasna. Yeah. Thank you.